right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. I had some issues with this thing, man, with the whole new My Player Builder and all that. I was like, how is this going to be balanced? How is this going to work out? How are we going to have not have everybody that's just dunking on everybody, shooting over everybody, driving to the rim, and everybody got 99 speed, man? Look, man, I think I found the answer to this whole thing, and I got it for you right after this. So if you don't do nothing else, let's get this video to his like goal of eight likes because I got the best subs on YouTube. They are the ones that told me down in the comment section how they think this thing breaks down, and I'm going to hit y'all with it right after this. Edo! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. Alright, so here we go, man. Y'all see right off the bat that this guy starts at a 41. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're not even worried about any of that because we're worried about the potential. I don't even know if he's really starting at 41, though, because look, right off the bat, look at this. He's already got 95 um, close shot. So if he already got 95 close shot and he has a lot of layup ability, we may be starting even lower than 41. Like, just think about that. He was able to put his shot close up to 95, and we are halfway through the uh, the, the driving layup bar, which looks like it's, it can even be higher than 95 because if we just look at this, we're seeing that this is probably 95 right here. And then, so he can probably go to almost uh, 99 or something like that with it. With this guy being, we're probably gonna start it in the 30s or something, bro. Like, I, I don't know how low we're gonna start at. What we normally start at 65, something like that. And you gotta work your guy up or a 60 or something. I don't know what the starting level normally is, but just looking at this, it's lower than 41 because we already are maxed out on the shot close. So, you know, that's just that. Now let's just we can probably guesstimate because let's see uh let's let's roll it back a little bit maxing this out and getting it to where it was that brought us to 45 right so max almost maxing those two things out brought us to 45 so we're probably gonna be starting at like a 35 or something like that but at any rate continuing on you see he's adding the attribute points and it's going up and it's going up. He's gonna have 30 shooting badges. We know that 30 is the max because all of that's maxed out. And like I said, this is staying consistent. That's 95. This is uh this is 95 right here. This could this could be 95. So it looks like 95 across the board for all of these guys uh, is the highest that they could possibly go. This could probably go to 95, all that good stuff. But look what happens when he finishes filling in everything. He goes, from, especially looking at as he's filling in these, in these physicals. Um, Cause that's the main thing that I wanted to look at. I don't even think we had any physicals when it started out. Or did we? Wait a minute. Okay, we didn't have any physicals when it started out. How did that happen? Do your physicals go up according? To, he added to driving dunk and the physical went up. So your physical profile, you, you are charged. Let's see if anything else goes up. Cause he got 52 vertical yep he got some speed from adding steel how am i getting speed from adding steel so it looks like what we were saying is this some of your some of your attributes are tied to different attributes right here so the higher your driving dunk was it looks like his vertical went up which is interesting but at the same time why is speed tied to steel? I don't know why that is. Uh, like he put the speed up and I, I feel like that was demonstrative. But at any rate, the whole point of this thing is once you get done with that, you're going to have to spend points on all of this. Look at that. What, what would they call this? Like that, to get to 68, to get to 68 um, acceleration, how many points did that cost us? Uh, we were at, we were at none. 86 and just to get to 68 that cost us what three points strength i don't think they touch strength and then from here we're going from 89 on the um stamina with stamina just putting the stamina up and the vertical up 
Look at that, that costs you two points just to put speed up to just a 79. And it don't even look like this speed can even really max out at anything other than 80 or something like that. So just looking at this, it's gonna be very interesting and I'm gonna tell you why. You see he stopped at 94? Yeah, you see he stopped at 94 and at 94, this is what we have. This is the potential that we have. I think that if anybody looked at this bill, they would probably say this is one of the most trash bills they've ever seen <laughs> in 2K ever. And I mean, I'm just saying, just look at it. You got a 60 standard. This is a guard. He got 60 standard. Obviously, you can you can change some of this stuff around and all of that stuff. And maybe they were just trying to get more. I'm just saying, like, like looking at it, like you can add points to every category. The way that they're saying that it looks like you can do is this. It looks like you don't have points. There's not a certain allotted number of points. So everybody's gonna have a different number of points that they can add to each thing. But the points are hidden behind, the, the balancing The balancing act is hidden behind your overall. So you can push points in any category and you can fill up everything. Obviously you see the caps here, like this can go all the way up, this can go all the way up, but your guard, your standing dunk can't go all the way up. Your shot can go all the way up, but you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but this guy right here, like for big men, am I gonna have a am I gonna have the potential to have a 95 three ball? And if I do have the potential to have that 95 three ball, how much overall is that going to cost me? And let me understand you what I'm saying. It's like when he started pushing up the just the ordinary stats, right? Nothing moved too quickly. Like just let's just, just look at it. Like nothing's moving too quickly, right? It, the first one cost him a few. And the second one, what, what? He filled up that whole, whole first thing and it didn't even cost him 20 points. Watch when we start doing it with the, with the shooting though. To fill up that second one, it cost him 10. And then it just start, it starts costing more and more as you pair certain categories and stuff like that. So the thing that I'm wondering is, like I said, this is not a great build. I don't think anybody will be like, yeah, this is the dopest build in the game. Like, you can't really dribble. You can't play any defense. I, and we're going to see a lot of people with this build, though. You can you can dribble. I mean, you can shoot, and you can go to the rim. But you can't really dribble. You can't really play any defense. You're not really fast. And you can't jump that high, any of that stuff. And, like, your defense is garbage, right? So looking at this, like, pushing it up to, to that, you can see that as you pair different categories, it starts charging you more to add attributes. Or as you get to the end of that to that line and start pairing different things, it starts it starts hitting you with different attributes. So like I'm saying, if I were to make a center with a 95 three ball, that might put just, just a 95 three ball in the center, it might put the center at a 60 from a 35 or something like that. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like you're gonna get charged more based on for each thing towards your overall based on your position as well as based on based on um your size position and all of that stuff and what category you get you you go towards so it might it might charge a center less for rebounding but if this guard had put his rebounding up it might have charged him like you know maybe one attribute may have been like one overall point or something like that i hope i'm trying i hope i'm being clear because the that's where the balancing act is going to come in you can add anything to any category you want, but as you pair different categories together, it's going to charge you. It looks like it's gonna charge you more, and then you're just not gonna have as many points to go toward the potential, which I think is a great way to balance the game. But you know we gonna find a way to break this joint, man. You know that we that we are. Like I said, I feel like a center, like let's say a guard. You can add a lot of stuff to guards, but that driving dunk, I bet if you were to push that, like driving layup, you can make that be all the way. But I bet if you put a guard with a driving dunk all the way to 95 or something like that, you probably won't have many points left to make him fast, to make him uh, be able to go to the rim or to make him play defense. And he, or, or if you can dribble, shoot, if you, as you start pairing those categories, dribbling, shooting, and finishing, you probably won't have anything left for your physicals um, much, and you probably won't have anything left for your, for your defense. So I know a lot of people are gonna do that and make the make the bills with no defense and all that stuff and say I'm cool with one defensive badge. They're gonna be getting baked in the park over and over, wondering why they can't play defense. Then they're gonna start complaining. So I'm just trying to say that I definitely see how they're going to balance this. Like I said, having a 95 three ball as a center probably cost me like, it's probably gonna cost me like 20 overall. 
So if I put a 95 three ball on the center or an 85 three ball on the center, I'm probably gonna be from 35 to like 55. Now I have to, now if I pair that with any type of finishing, I'm probably gonna be at like an 85 and I'm just gonna have, you know, stuff left for the physicals. Or if I take my center and I max out the defense, that's probably gonna put me at a 75 or something like that, 65. And then once I max out that three ball, I'm probably gonna be at 85. I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna be able to add anything else to anything else but the physicals. And that's why I was looking at this build and I was like, hmm, that looks dope that you can add stuff to everything and we can see the built-in caps based on the position and the size and all of that stuff. But the balancing, it's gonna have to be very intricate because like I said, looking at this, shoot well maybe a center's max speed is probably going to be able to be like 70 anyway or something like that so you can have max speed on a center and uh you're gonna have you know but i bet if you add max defense and max finishing you won't have you so if you let's go you go max speed max defense max uh finishing you probably won't have anything left to put anywhere else as far as shooting or anything so we're not going to see a lot of the centers that we thought that you know we we're like well damn we're gonna have centers that can dunk shoot and and play good defense and we're gonna have guards that can dunk shoot dribble the ball and play defense and be fast as hell like that's just not gonna be the case if they balanced it correctly i sincerely hope that they did because just looking at the rest of this stuff man like like look at your takeover you got your primary takeover you got your secondary takeover and so you can have the precision like i bet that from what i'm guessing i'll have some shields here as my center and i'm also gonna have the bullseyes so i'll put the uh I would probably put defense as my primary and then my secondary one is going to be is precision shooting because I want to lock down the paint first and then if I get another block or something like that then that's going to push me into my team takeover or, or my you know my secondary takeover and then I have the precision shooting but I should be able to shoot the ball anyway and I'm probably going to need help on the defense and then uh, the last thing that I wanted to say is this is something that I've been asking them to do for, the, for years instead of instead of just giving me an archetype or the pie charts name the player based upon what it is that you chose and they've been doing that for the last couple of years but like this is all the way from raw it's like yes i bet we're gonna have the same type of limitations and the same type of balancing and stuff like that as far as this goes but the algorithm that backs this thing up it's gonna have to be pretty intricate to know we can't have a center like i bet if a center puts anything on playmaking it's probably gonna balloon him up like to max out your playmaking as a center it's probably gonna cost you like 30 overall and you're already gonna be at like like uh 65 70. and so if you do anything else you won't be able to play defense or something like that so that's gonna be dope if they balanced it the way that i think that they that, that i think that they should i hope they did but who knows with 2K, man? I, I'm pretty sure that they did do something like that. And like I said, shoot, you probably won't even be able to have 80 ball handling as a center or 70 or ball handling as a center or anything like that anyway. But somebody's going to find a small forward build that's going to break all the charts and do all that stuff. And they're going to find a small forward build He's probably going to be able to shoot, finish, play defense, and be fast as hell. We always do. So that's just a quick video, man, to let y'all know what I ran across and how I think how I'm thinking about this. I think that the balancing behind it is going to have to be intricate and they're going to have to do it just like I said, as you pair more categories and stuff together, it's going to have to charge you more overall. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Also, like the video. Let's get it to that like goal of eight. And uh, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. God speak! Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please do that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't fine I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, God speak We good